Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle inscribed uh, in a right triangle ABC. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius of this uh, circle is 12 units, whereas the side length of this uh, right triangle is uh, 32 units. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, tangent points uh, E and F uh, with this uh, center O. Let me go ahead and connect this one as well. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. Now let's recall this uh, circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent uh, will always be equal to 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, our this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees each. Now we can see that this uh, OE and this uh, OF are the radii of this uh, circle which is uh, 12. So therefore if this uh, side length is uh, 12 then this uh, side length is going to be 12 units as well. And likewise if this uh, side length is uh, 12 then uh, this side length is going to be 12 units as well. So therefore our these uh, side lengths BE and BF turns out to be uh, 12 units each. And now we can see that our this whole length AB is 32 units and this side length EB is 12 units. So therefore our this side length AE is going to be 32 minus 12 that is going to give us 20 units. And now let's recall two tangent uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, uh, then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram. Therefore, in our case, uh, this uh, tangent uh, AE and this tangent AD are going to be congruent. If this one 20 units, this has got to be 20 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, line segment uh, FC. Let me go ahead and call uh, this side length as X units. And according to this uh, two tangent theorem, this uh, line segment uh, CD is going to be X units as well. And now we know that this uh, side length is uh, 12 units and this is uh, X. So this uh, total length uh, BC is going to be X plus uh, 12 units. Likewise, we know this side length AD is uh, 20 and this side length is X. So this whole side length uh, AC is going to be x plus 20 units. Now let's focus on this uh, blue right triangle whose uh, side lengths are this side length uh, is uh, 32 units. This uh, side length is x plus 12 and this one is x plus uh, 20. We are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, our side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this uh, side a and this side uh, lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, x plus uh, 12 whole square plus b in our case is 32 so this is going to become 32 square and c in our case is x plus 20 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply over here so this x plus 12 square is going to become simply x square plus 24x 
plus 144 plus 32 square is 1024 equals to on the right hand side we are going to use this identity once again so this is going to give us x square plus 40x plus 400 now we can see x square on this side and x square is gone let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we're going to have a 24x plus 1168 equals to 40x plus 400. Now let's go ahead and subtract 24x from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, let's take care of this right hand side. 40x minus 24x is going to give us 16x plus 400 equals to 1168 now let's subtract uh, 400 from both sides this is gone so we got 16 x equal to 768 let's divide both sides by 16 so therefore our x value turns out to be simply 48 units so therefore we figured out these x value 48 and this x value 48 as well so therefore our this base bc i'm going to replace this x by 48 48 and 12 is going to give us 60 units so therefore the base of this blue right triangle turns out to be 60 units and its height this one a B is 32 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle a b c now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base uh, time height in our case uh, the base is uh, 60 and our height is uh, 32 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area of this triangle is going to be a half time base is 60 and height is 32 units if we simplify everything so the area turns out to be 960 square units so that's the area of this blue shaded triangle abc turns out to be a 960 square units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.